In this video, we're going to look at the theorem known as equal chords, equal angles. So first things first, remember a chord is a line that goes through the circle and it touches the circumference at one point and it touches the circumference at another point. So that's a chord. A diameter is a special chord that goes through the center of the circle. So a diameter is a chord. However, you can also get chords that do not go through the center of the circle. So you could get a chord like this, for example. You can see over here that it's going from the circumference, it's touching the circumference over here, to the circumference over here, through the circle. That is a chord. And what this theorem basically says is if we have chords that are equal, so when I say equal, I mean equal in length. So BC, for example, is five centimeters and CD, for example, is five centimeters. These are both chords from B to C, that's a chord, and CD, that's also a chord. Those are equal chords because they're equal in length. What the theorem says is those angles that are opposite those chords have equal angles. So opposite this side, we've got this angle. Opposite this side, we've got this angle. Those angles are also equal in side, size because they're opposite equal chords. Same thing over here, the bottom image over here, you can see that AB is a chord and it's equal in length to DE. That is also a chord. So the angle opposite AB is X. The angle opposite DE is also X. They're equal in size. The fancy way of explaining this is equal chords subtend equal angles at the circumference. So for example, BAC, which is this angle over here, is equal to CAD. Your reason would be equal chords, equal angles. And you can write out the word equal if you want, but this just helps us keep it short and simple. Equal chords, equal angles. Remember, that means angles. And over here, we've said ACB, so this angle over here is equal to DFE, that angle over there, for the same reason. So if this was our question, for example, we want uh, they want us to determine the size of angle BFC. So BFC, we are referring to this angle over here. You can see that opposite that angle, we've got a chord, chord BC, which they tell me is equal in length to chord DE. So which angle is opposite chord DE? 30 degrees. So the angle opposite chord DE, that will be the same as the angle opposite chord BC. So BFC is also going to equal to 30 degrees, equal chords, equal angles. And that's it. That's your reason. And that is the theorem. If you want to check out any or all of the other theorems, look at the link in the playlist down below, as well as some practice videos. I'll see you in another lesson very soon. Bye, everyone.